His experience and ideas can save the city millions of dollars, avoid bankruptcy, and do it without raising taxes. He wants a new city council. He wants tough new judges. He's the one candidate who has always made the right decisions. Ed Rendell, the right direction for Philadelphia. The governor came to us with symptoms that he wanted to know what was going on. And he knew something wasn't quite right, and he wanted to understand better what that was. At that time, he had a uh, tremor that was fairly typical of Parkinson's disease, had a little bit of slowing, slowing of movement, also a very typical symptom of Parkinson's disease. I think his expectations were, I have a diagnosis now, what's going to happen in the next few years? Am I going to get worse? Am I not going to be able to do what I've really wanted to do? And I tried to reassure him that, in my opinion, he was going to be able to continue just fine. But I think it, it wasn't until that actually happened that he felt liberated enough to share his message with the public. Dr. Stern asked me to do this almost at the beginning. He said, you'll be a good symbol for people who with Parkinson's, you're fighting Parkinson's, and someone as active and, and vital as you are. I, I didn't want to do it then because I wasn't sure that I wasn't perpetuating a myth that a year or two down the road, I would begin to deteriorate. So now after three and a half years, I'm convinced that this has significantly worked to enormously slow the progress of this disease, maybe even stop it. The governor travels all over the place. He's going a million miles an hour and, you know, 100 hours a day. So we're going to do jab cross, Joellen's going to do the hooks, and then you do the And he has maintained that schedule for the last four years. Up. Up. Make sure you come back up to the face each time. You've got to bring that posture up a little bit taller, a little bit taller. And I was beginning to get a little shakier on my balance. Right leg, give me jab. And jab. what the therapist jab. said, was incredible. I mean, I started doing things that I never thought I could do. Hands out of those pockets. And you used to say to me all the time when I'd give you something balance-wise, you'd say, I'm never going to be able to do that. And now we do it. And we just keep upping the challenge a little more. Our treatment for the governor has been not to overload him with high doses of medications that might give him side effects in order to eliminate his symptoms entirely. We've used physical therapy and exercise to supplement that. He's intellectually sharp, he is on target, he is active, he is busy, and our mission is to keep him there. It's in everyone's reach to get this type of aggressive treatment, and it's available to everybody. We are actually making great strides in our understanding of what's going on with Parkinson's disease. So when people talk to me about finding a cure, I try to refocus the attention on what we can do now and what we'll be able to do better in the near future, which is significantly reduce disability. You know, we are already at a point where we can significantly reduce the disability associated with Parkinson's disease. And we're very proud of that at Penn. And that's the message that we really want patients to understand. I've always been extraordinarily blessed that I've loved my work. So I'm gonna continue working and but with the help of Dr. Stern, I intend to stay active uh, as long as I'm alive.